go check out my mom's social media. Uh, wait, wh what am I supposed to say again? Wh what was I supposed to say? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel again. Today I have created this look with a very interesting palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Uh, this is the palette and it's an amazing color. You know, sometimes you have a palette, you think, okay, I don't need any more palette. This is good. This is it. You just don't want any more. But, you know, we make up artists, we have to have all of them anyway. Oh my God, uh, guys, no word to describe this. So I can't wait to play. I felt like when I'm making the video, I feel like I should use all the color. I wish I have four or five eyes and my face and I could create all the colors look. And each and every, I'm a very, very dramatic makeup person. So all the colors is my color, my, my color. So today I, uh, whatever I use, I will describe it on, in the description uh, section. But this is the look I created for you guys and uh, I'm sure you're going to love it. I am sure. So if you want to know how I created this look and what are the colors I used where, so then watch it. Let's start the makeup. I'm using Hourglass uh, Primer. It's a very nice, uh, very mineral primer. All, the, all over my face, I'm going to massage it. Using my finger for that. The best tool in the world. Well guys, I'm using the Hourglass, the new stick foundation. Unbelievable. Simply unbelievable. Such a beautiful texture, such a beautiful foundation so easy to blend in and it's so perfect for my skin tone it's so hard sometimes to find your perfect match this is really a good match and they have this brush with that I'm using the brush to blend in instead of beauty blender this time because this brush is everything spraying little bit of makeup fixer from skin devia and then Blending it. See how easy and cool. I love it. Beautiful product. Brilliant. Brilliant. The brush is so soft. It doesn't make any stain or any line when you're really applying the foundation. Super, super soft. You guys should try this brush and the foundation also. I'm using my finger again for my little bit of pigmentation I have on that I just same foundation just a layer so that it doesn't show much nobody's perfect everybody has flaws we just have to know how to minimize that pressing the brush again to push the foundation inside my skin instead of dragging using the hourglass uh, number eight brush to use my concealer underneath the eye it's also a very soft br uh, brush i always spray the makeup fixer underneath uh, sorry the on the brush so that it, it's easy to apply using the Morphe M407 brush and the dust powder, the translucent powder just to bake my skin underneath my eyes. Be generous with powder, you have to use lots of lots of powder so that there is no crease and it looks nice and smooth.
same powder I'm using on my jawline where I wanted to highlight and then I'm going to use the darker powder on my uh, cheekbone to contour my chubby face. Using Wet n Wild nowadays this is one of my favorite contouring powder and using Morphe 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 M438 brush to contour my face. I'm using now Stila blush and using 168 brush from MAC and just applying it on my cheekbones, smiley. And uh, with the Morphe again, uh, the brush number E47 for the nose contouring. I'm using same Wet n Wild palette, du duo palette, and then using this brush to just a little bit contour my nose. And going back to my eyebrows, this is a goof proof brow pencil from Benefit. It's amazing, amazing. The whole uh, eyebrow collections from Benefit is one of my favorite collections. They have many, many product, many, many uh, type of um, items like pencils, gels, um, pomade, excellent. But this is one of my favorite. I'm gonna. I'm drawing the uh, outline first, and then fill it out later on with the pencil. It's very smooth, very easy to glide. And finishing it up with the Anastasia Valley Hills Clear Gel, always. Guys, ignore my uh, redness on my back of my hand. That was from my injection. The, they couldn't find my vein, so it's blue-black. Anyway, so this is Soft Ochre. I'm using the BH uh, Cosmetics 129 brush. Very soft, very cute brush to uh, apply the Soft Ochre on my top of my eyelids as a base and using of course this new palette from Anastasia Beverly Hill Modern Renaissance and um, the color I'm using it's very it's 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 not important it's important what color you want to see on yourself and what combination you want to see I'm using uh, most of the eyes I'm using the little bit brownish tone and shocking pink one my favorite one so I'm blending the transition color with a M4, M411 brush from Morphe. And in the corner, I'm using a little bit of, a, um, you can say copperish, goldish color, just in the inner corner and the middle. And with the MAC 214, I'm going to use uh, the, actually no, I'm using at this point, M08 Morphe, the pinkish, shocking pink color on the outside of my eyes. Probably I'll blend it with the Morphe uh, MAC brush. What a beautiful color. Unbelievable. Did you guys see? You guys see? Holy moly, holy moly. Now I'm using the 214 MAC brush. Again, I'm doing mistake. It's actually B80 Morphe brush to blend in the color. What's wrong with me today? Yeah, I'm trying to blend the pinkish color, shocking pink color, and just create that um, wing here. Using again the Morphe 508 brush and using again the B80 brush to blend in and trying to take out, take it out a little bit outer corner of the eye creating like as a wing but in a very soft way because it's very dark color so you don't want to go too far again 
again I'm taking that uh, dusty uh, copperish color on the middle of my eye and the corner just to kick up a little bit dark and light combination using the uh, eyeliner wet and oil mega eye uh, eyeliner it's a very very dark and very easy apl applicable liquid eyeliner I love it it's really a very good eyeliner but you have to go very slow uh, it's a little bit a uh, little too liquidy so you have to have the balance in your hand using the hourglass um, highlighter palette it's a six in a palette using the fan brush from, from Benefit. It is one of my favorite brush. Very, very old brush. I love it for my uh, highlighting. Very cute, soft. The whitish color, the off-white color, that one I'm using for my nose. And again, trying to fix my eyeliner because sometimes one application you don't see the dark black color, so you have to really use, uh, once it's dry, use second coat or maybe third coat as long as you're not um, uh, happy you just apply it. I like to see my eyeliner always very dark black so one coat is not enough. You see my mark on my hand? Gosh, how much painful it was. You can imagine they couldn't find my vein, the doctor, so they poked me very good. So always remember when you are doing the wings or the corner of your eye, you have to be very slow and have to have a lot of patience. Especially when you are playing with black color, you don't want to rush it. Taking the Inglot gel with um, Anastasia Beverly Hills number no. 3 brush doing my waterline. Nowadays instead of pencil I use the straight gel to my uh, waterline. It actually uh, helps me for some reason I don't tear much. If I use any company, any black pencil I just tear and I'm using the same gel and the same brush for my tight line also. I know there is a background sound, my gardener, the lawn mower sound, excuse me for that also, please. Yeah, doing my more, my beauty spot, yes. <laughs> and uh, the, using the NYX lip pencil, I don't remember, the, it's not in front of me, I don't remember the number or the name. It's just from NYX. It's a roll-on pencil. Nice, easy application. And dose of color. Lipstick. Lip stain. One of my favorite company. This is also a brilliant company. Brilliant product. See. One, one sweep. It's so nicely applied on my lip. That's what I like. I don't have to do too much struggle on it. Yeah, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Yes, icing on the cake is this glitter from NYX. Very, very fine. It's just a cake. Thank you again for uh, being my viewers and please subscribe me and definitely uh, I will create more looks with this palette and thank you again. I appreciate your love and I appreciate your support. Hope to see you soon with my new creations. Bye now.